So you already know the topic. So I'm just gonna like hey, what's up? The questions because I know you got stories. So I got a few. Any friends? Can we do platonic I, friendships? Yes, I believe men and women can be friends with no type of sexual tension whatsoever. All right, cool. Do you have female friends? I do. All right, all right. It's complicated. <laughs> are you in relationships <laughs> right now <laughs> um it's complicated it, it's, it's complicated uh, if you were in a relationship would you still maintain your friendships with your your friend your female friends i try to but honestly it really depends on your partner um my last relationship she did not believe that men and women could be friends so i had to let a lot of female friends go well, thank God I'm still here. Shit. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be cool with it. I feel like I'm secure enough to let my lady have a male friend. Okay. So you have to be secure enough that you're okay with your lady to have male friends, but at the same time, you never want to put yourself in a bad position. And so, like, y'all talking late night on the phone, y'all meet, y'all having, you know, overnight trips and stuff. It's kind of questionable, but like y'all about to meet so and so for lunch, I'll be fine with that. Switchy, like um, I feel like my spidey senses will always be up. Like I'm always gonna be on the lookout for something, but I'm not gonna act on it. Like unless it's like something like blatant, like you know he smacks on the ass, or like you don't want to be naive enough to thinking, oh yeah, she's never gonna do it because let's be honest, it can happen. Yeah, why, why would you say she never gonna do it? Why why are you assuming the girl gonna go trip and fall on a date or something? I'm saying that because I can only speak for myself. So in a relationship, you can only talk about what you bring to the table. So I know for sure, like I could I could have a female friend and not do anything. Like hell, I slept in the same bed with one of my female friends and like nothing went down. She stayed on her side, I stayed on my side. I mean, yes, I feel like it's it's the most easiest thing ever. I have a lot of guy friends, mm -hmm. more than girlfriends. Very handful of girlfriends, selective, and guys just give you that uh, security when you're going out with them, and they give you straight opinions and straightforward answers and straightforward advice. So they don't beat about the bush. Okay. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well okay. of course i mean if he's cool with me well he doesn't have a choice this is my life we're in we're in a relationship before before him i had a life and i had friends it's a matter of respecting our relationship no drunk texting or drunk calling if my guy friends are out during the late hours of the night you know what i mean it's a respect it's a boundary thing there's that line that we shouldn't cross but yeah. he can he has his lady friends i have my guy friends like i said it's a respect thing ain't nobody going to be driving my man's car just because they are my guy's friends that we're not going to do i drive his car Nobody sits in my seat when I'm not there, and oh, nobody God. sleeps over. The battle of the front seat. Whew. The battle of the front seat. Nobody sleeps over when I'm not there. When I'm there, she can sleep over. I don't have a problem. Because I don't know what, what can happen during the night, you know? So. Hmm. No. Okay. Not friends. They are blocked and they are in the dungeon where they deserve to be. Okay. Friends, maybe on Facebook, maybe on Facebook, you know, Facebook, you always, they'll always be there. Cause I don't block people on my Facebook and social media platforms, but on my cell phone, it's a private thing. It's, it's too personal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah. always have it and I don't want, yeah, creepy messages. Ah, okay, cool. Yes, I believe that. Um... Definitely, males are attracted to females and definitely can be friends no matter what. You can be really, really great and best friends. You can. Yes, I'm 100% for it. You can, have, you can have friends. You know, friendship is all about respect. Yes. And you respect the wishes 
of your friends. Um, so far as you're married or even if you're not married, you have a partner. Um, there are some lines that are drawn. And if your friends um, probably draw a line and tell you that don't cross this line, you don't need to cross it. Respect their wishes. Yes, so, so okay, so here there, there are some dangers of being too close to your friend um, if, you don't, if you do not actually spell it out or speak it out to your partner. Definitely, they are going to raise eyebrows if they realize that um, you are being too close to your, to your friends or your friends are being too close to you. Yes, there's a limitation how, to... How close I can be with my friends? Close. I mean, it depends on you. Um, with me, let's say, uh, my wife knows that uh, I like touching people a lot. So even if you're my friend, I can, I can hold you, hold your hands. That She understands me. Your partner okay. should also understand you and know who you are. So if they know who you are, definitely they will not be surprised about anything. And do my exes? Um, do I even have an ex? I don't wow. think I have an ex. Wow! Um, wow. Yeah. I love oh, how yeah. very people oh. do this thing of oh my god, I have amnesia of all my previous relationships because I have married. I've fallen in love several times, um, but you know it's, it's a two-way affair. You might have fallen in love somebody even probably might not be in the same shoe with you. Maybe she would end up loving you the way you love the person. All the people that I once loved, I'm very close with them. I'm really extremely close with them. And this is who I am, man. You live a life, go back to them, have fun, talk to them. Hey, how are you? Once in a while, how about that? Um, once in a while, we chat and go that with them. At programs, we chat. But she really hasn't got a lot of friends. Um, I'm actually her only friend, I'll say so. Think I think we we can. Also, is it easier to be just friends with somebody when if that friendship starts and they have a girlfriend or they have a boyfriend? Because it's just like then your mentality is just like you can't you don't expect anything. <laughs> so basically, you are like you're well, comfortable if there's a buffer between you and this guy, especially if he had intentions with you. If your name is not he's not there, <laughs> no. He, I'll be your friend. I'll just be your friend because that's where I am, you yeah. know. And at that, at some point, you're gonna have to accept to team. Well, we are we are better off. But I think guys don't accept. Guys will always try their luck. Also, quite important to ask, Uti, how did that friendship start? So that it's like you are not slept like a Popeye there, and you're like, oh God, most people are just friends. And no. They've had entanglements or you know, your question is, well, am I okay? <laughs> hey guys, these feelings, things, nah. Well, you've you answered that? the question, babe. You've answered the question. Because <laughs> you said, um, in the space of friendships, you're fine. But as soon as you become a girlfriend to this guy, you're just like, eh, these other girls, what are they for? Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite, I know. <laughs> You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. What would make you be like? I mean, when she's just doing too much, you're going to show too much. Going, going out of her way. Maybe, maybe it's his birthday or something, and then suddenly, so gonna so many gifts and auntie. Like, I mean, I know you're not friends, but don't go all out for your friends, huh? for your male friends even. Why? Like, so who must go? Friends? Who must go all out for these male friends? How do we appreciate it? Oh, okay. And you're just like, girl, why? Why? Why is everything all right? You know? Yeah, and it's mean, about her friend. Mm, guys. Okay, so you already know the subject. So I'm just going to jump in without crossing lines later. Yes, we can. This so is nice. basically, everyone is so positive and just so bravely saying yes, yeah, like nothing shady ever happens. But sure, carry on. Yes. Uh, so basically, uh, like, actually, my true friend, uh, uh, she's a female. Uh -huh. So we've been friends for over like how many years now? Fifteen years. Okay. And we have never even thought about crossing that line even for once. That's great. So. Is, is is your best friend friends with your wife? Um, no. I don't know. 
but uh, I think. And you're okay with that? Yeah, as long as if they don't cross that line. That's my next question. What is the line? Calls. The mean the, the, there should be a, like a specific time, a period of time where a call should end and begin in a, in a certain day. Like when you, when you start work, you start at eight, you end at four or five. Mm -hmm. so, what if the friend is stuck on the freeway and it's close to your house and they just need your help? So I mustn't call because it's 2 a.m. Okay. Emergencies, we accommodate. Yes. No. Oh, okay, okay. Just asking. Yeah. Just asking. I mean, I, I tried being friends with my ex once. Then I told myself, mm -mm. after she came to telling me that, you know what? Um, I'm dating this guy and he's so genuine, he's so good. Then I started asking myself questions like, what the hell was I doing all this time? Was I that mean and all those? So then I was like, ah, uh -uh, guys. You were being a friend. Is, Why would you need to question what you were doing all this time? No, because now if you start, uh, OJ, the person can come and say, you know what, I've met someone who's better. Like, okay. Wait, wait. People grow, people change, and they want different things. That's okay. So why would that I, make you want to end your friendship with this person? Like, I, you moved on. OJ, those, those type of conversations shouldn't be even held. That's why I'm saying friend, uh, exes and friendship don't go together. And purely just friends. I, I do. I honestly do. Um, I'm not a good resource of that because <laughs> um, I've had many friendships who are like, oh, we're such good friends. And then um, we're not. I think in order for that to happen, it requires a lot of maturity from both sides. Same sex relationships, like your friendships, you can have that same confusion because a lot of girls are like, it's just friends. <laughs> the maturity of understanding like what am I getting out of this relationship what my boundaries are look different than someone else's like some people you'll look at them and be like you guys look like you're dating and we're like no no we're just friends and that but their love languages are touching and feeling and they're like oh but then with their own people they're like oh I'll just hold your hand and that's just their thing so yeah Okay, so I have one example where yeah. I was friends with this guy for nine years and we recently ended our friendship because he's like, yeah, I've been waiting for nine years. And I was like, but because there was a time, like a two day thing where we like laughed a little bit and, and then I, and I apologized to him like four or five years ago and I was like, I, I think I may have laid you on and I'm sorry. Yeah. And now like five years later, he's like, no, I still think, I don't think he ever actually wanted to be my friend. Like when we started dating, uh, he went to um, Austria, like he went on holiday. And then he came back. He's like, don't be weird about this. But there was this girl, like, who had kid friends. So I was like, that's awesome. That's really cool. Like later on, then told me, so that girl, I was like, what? Okay, no, you, no, you have to, you can't told me some of the information and not all of it because now I'm like and then that was an uncomfortable conversation but I'm grateful for it because then we worked through it and through it and sorted it out. And... Um, I don't believe in them um, because I've, I've, I've dismally failed at most of them um, in the past uh, but um, something I've, I've talked to about a lot of people and some believe it works for them for me it hasn't. Oh, okay. So you're married. Your wife, yes. does she have male friends? Um, in a similar manner that I have female friends. They are there, but with that uh, sort of uh, physical Distance. boundary, if I can, yeah, 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 distance. Because previously, I mean, you know this, I was in a long distance relationship for many months and it, I could make time for, for people now with um, that not being the case. It's sort of um, the rules had to change. And um, as a result, I did lose um, some friends. And, okay, yeah. so did you deliberately then put distance between you and your female friends because you want to nurture your relationship? It was sort of like a, um, a relationship ground rule, um, so to say. Um, 
you you discuss these things and say so how do we handle this aspect mm. um of of your life yeah um there, there, there is no hard and fast rule um mm. so to say I'm, I'm i'm the type of person who invests his effort and his interest in what ultimately uh, is more long term and yeah so uh, if it means sustaining my relationship with my wife at the expense of um, other individuals, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more likely, yeah, I mean, because a few months down the line, that individual missed somebody else and they find themselves in the same situation that you are in and guess what they pick? <laughs> so. Yes, to a certain extent. Okay, uh, what extent is this? Like, each person must know the boundaries, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you become friends with somebody, but you kind of like them, and they know that you kind of like them. So as long as they're not taking advantage of that, and you both know where you stand, then it's fine. Then you will grow out of your feelings, and then you will have a great friendship. So it is possible. Growing out of feelings, what a beautiful thing to hear. I don't know, I had a situation where we both became friends, but there was a vibe there. And he knew he didn't want a relationship, but I knew I liked him, liked him. So then he's like, no, okay, cool. Let's just see how it goes. Next thing, two months later, it's like, yeah, but I still don't want to be in a relationship. Like, what is that? No. But also, also it, it comes to you being real with yourself. If a person doesn't really want to be there and they're trying that's that's not really a commitment that's just someone doing you a favor or just being like hey okay yeah but what they do what they do is they manipulate the situation yeah and then the person goes hot and cold hot and cold hot and cold so if you're not aware of such things and it's your first time you're like he ah me. he likes me but he's not sure can't you, uh, uh. that person is just using you for emotional support mm -hmm for mental he's using you as a sounding board you're his psychologist now and how did we get to this point sometimes, sometimes they use it for your personal space like he might be going through a thing and now he doesn't yes. and then suddenly babe so you now you are addressed as babe and now all of a sudden you are playing games so too yes i hate that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 2 a.m in the morning and then he's crashing at the couch and next thing he's just moved in these things happen Woo! Child, no. <laughs> you already know what the topic is. Yes, I do. I think it's, um, I think platonic friendships are a blessing. I think it's a part of, it's one of the pleasures of life is having, is building relationships with people across genders, across race, just vibing with people with common values, um, there's a lot of cross sections and I think it doesn't matter if you're male or female. I think it just sounds so contrived and so silly to me that because at this day I'm in a monogamous relationship, I have to push all other, I have to push back half of the world, half of the population I cannot connect with because I happen to be sleeping with someone. That freedom does come at a cost because we are emotional creatures True. and sexual attraction is a thing. But I think if you're dealing with someone that is emotionally mature, it's something that can be effectively managed. I assume that's a yes. Yeah, I mean, outwardly, yes, I'm okay with it. I, I have to be because I, I value that freedom in my life. So I can't be a hypocrite and I have to be objective depending on the quality of their relationship. I might, you know, insecurities might seep in and I might feel some type of way, but I have to allow her that freedom. And so it forces me to be, it forces me to elevate and process my emotions and, and how I'm feeling and why I'm feeling that way. Um, and, and, and with male-female relationships, it comes with that added layer of potential sexual interaction 
and sexual attraction, and that can come in conflict with your existing relationship. Even if the attraction is from the outside party into our relationship, that is still yeah. something that needs to be managed. Yeah, yeah, because you know, it, it, you never know. <laughs> You never, you never, it's only, it's like, you know, you got a front door and a back door and you only lock one of the doors, you know, you still got the other door. Men, men, men have a predatory, a predatory like instinct when it comes to sex. Yeah. We do. I mean, just at a basic level, we, we like to hunt. Yeah. So even if, even if you're not into Tom, but Tom's into you, yeah, he's lying in wait, waiting for the, the right opportunity. You don't know yeah. everyone's, uh. You know, you don't know everyone's uh, whole motivation. For starters, I don't think that they are impossible, right? Because I think we live in a time where the hookup culture has kind of gotten to a state where no one believes that platonic friendships between men and women are possible. And, and for me, that, that's complete nonsense. I have met a guy who blatantly says, yeah, nah, he doesn't have chick friends, like female friends. And I said, why? And he says, that doesn't make sense to him. He can't be friends with girls. And obviously that would be something that is inherent and obviously comes from something. Or oh, he has his own reasoning. I think the reason guys like that would be uncomfortable with having female friends is the, the, the society we're living in now is about have somebody. There's this pressure to be in a relationship. Like there is also the other side where they sort of make it seem like you're lonely if you're alone, whereas being single is yeah. okay. You can thrive, yeah. fulfill all your dreams, being a single person who has friends, family, and all these things. Because nobody teaches us that you can receive support, emotional um, support, intellectual support, and we can groom each other to, to grow in a friendship. It doesn't mean that it can only be your partner that gives you all those things. I think that that hookup culture also has blurred those lines because people end up hooking up with their friends. So, That's the thing. That's the thing that people don't have that, that. That's a boundary I will not cross. That's a line I will not cross. Because it, 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 it doesn't. And it's absolutely not it's wrong. It's not. Yeah. It's not. You know, sometimes it might lead to your happily ever after. But also, I think there's a lot of uh, a level of emotional intelligence that is required to be able to say, okay, now we've crossed the line. And it's not what we think it was. Can yeah. we go back to our friendship? Can, can it be like it was before? And sometimes that's not the case. And then it becomes tricky. I generally think they, they, they can, they can be friends. Um, uh, is, okay, the one thing that I find very, very weird, unless there are no, uh, you know, residual feelings involved, whereby, you know, somebody's harboring some kind of feelings and, you know, there'll always be that, you know, uh, back and forth. But uh, the, I think the most important thing is in state your intentions or just say, you know, if, if you've got some feelings, you just, come out and say it so that, you know, it doesn't be like, okay, fine, I mean, have friends, but, you know, deep down, you're, you're dying. And did your partner have male friends? Um, I think, you know, it's, it's one of those things I found very uh, different, whereby, like, if I had female friends, it was an issue, but she, I was supposed to be okay with her having male friends. Yeah. And the thing is, even, like, during that time, I knew some of her friends actually had a or rather had feelings for her and I, and I told her like you know this guy really is into you but yeah. you're not seeing it and she was like no nah, you know we're just friends we've known each other for a long time but yeah so you know I'm being told that big dramatic about it and you know I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking about it but I'm just saying you know that's just uh, my my observation it's not that I'm jealous or anything yeah. but I was just I was just pointing out an observation that I was and had, had saying something ever... about it had she ever pointed out an observation she's seen of your female friends? Yeah, well, yeah, she would always mention, uh, especially since she knew some uh, uh, some of them as well. So uh, she always used to tell them, like, you know, uh, don't hang around with this chick because, you know, I think she she wants you or something like that. And I was like, we've never gotten to that uh, position with her. And I knew them before I knew her. That's the other thing. So 